Hello again, friends. Thank you for joining me for another war zone. Alderaan Civil War today, which I always remember as being the first war zone, even though I'm pretty sure it, Huppel, and Voicester actually came out at the same time, but in my brain it's the first one. Maybe it was the first one I played, I don't know. Um, I'm probably going to go to mid just because that's usually where the fighting is. And I really hope that somebody on our team goes to west. Yes, I see somebody going there. All right, I'm going to stealth so they don't all jump at me at first because Serenity is not the best defensive class in the game. Um, all right, let's get into some combat. Do an AoE taunt to help out Mr. Solus here. And my resilience to help myself. And then I'm just getting used to like the new uh, stuff, like the two charges on Force Potency. Because when I see it not on cooldown, my brain thinks like, oh, I must not have actually hit it. I thought I hit that. Um, and clearly I did hit that. I just didn't actually uh, go on cooldown because there's no more cooldown. All right. I'm having a hard time procking. There we go. I'm going to cloak out before I die. And thank you for the heals. Not sure it'll be enough. Let's get some health back. I'm going to stun this guy because he's low on HP. Let's see how much damage we can do to him. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, uh, stay still. I use Sever Force there mainly for the root, not just for the damage, because usually you don't want to dot somebody who's about to die, but sometimes it makes sense too. Appreciate my healer, I'm gonna use resilience to help him out. Okay, this guy's also a healer. So I will make you target. And put one of those on you. And you purge my dots. I worked hard on those, excuse me. I'll just put more dots on you then. Okay, let's see if we can get some dots on some of his friends too. Spread the love. And we'll do a force potency on you. And these things, and can I not spread to you? Yes, I can. Happy times. I'm going to break this just because they're all clumped up, and that means an opportunity to do lots of damage. Now the healer does have a guard. Alright, my dots don't seem to be up anymore. Oh, they're on this guy, okay. It's hard to, because the cooldown is how I knew when to reapply it, so now... I have to like track it myself, which is just something my brain is not used to doing. I should just see like force potencies on cooldown, use it. Now I have to like see like do they still have charges on them? Am I wasting it by using it again this soon? Maybe I should be using it more frequently, but it does take up a lot of force too. Alright, so this could be a long game. Now I do see one of my friends there. Tapping, but no, he didn't quite make it. I was hopeful. I'm gonna stun the healer. Nice, good job. So, some, so ma. Alright, let's get on this guy. I guess they have two healers, or no, this guy's the healer, the other one's the DPS. Not sure. I'm getting a little low on health myself, though, so let's get back. Oh, no, no. I saw that guy capping. We worked hard for this node. We are not going to let you cap it that easily. Although, I am going to die soon if I don't do something, so... Yeah, they're all here now. Let's try to get some dots out, because I believe they heal my HP. And of course they also do damage, so win-win. Stun you, and do some spreading, do this for more dot damage, AoE taunt. I love how much like, AoE stuff we can do. Okay, so this guy's also a healer. I guess I'll give you call, because that's the one I hit. Um, I could be in a lot of trouble here. I don't appear to have the two cloaks utility, so... Yep. Down I go. Alright, let's get back to mid as soon as we can. Since our friends will probably be in trouble.
Definitely see a lot of red there. Then again, our health bars are pretty full, so maybe I shouldn't be too worried. We do have a guy over there guarding. Alright, into the fun. This guy's low on HP. So let's see if we can get maybe a stone him so he can use a cooldown. And yes, down he goes. Now I am worried about the other nodes. This guy's name is something L E E U. Obviously the one who's not in range. Checks out. So I'm gonna keep an eye on his health because starts going down that way I will hopefully see it and maybe can get there in time to help. I'm a little worried I see a lot of them here but not all of them. This guy's just like hiding around the corner. I went too far around the corner. All right you have fun up on the hill there. One incoming okay. Oh yep more than one. Taking fire. Keep up oh, did he die? Did he go? No, he went to stealth. Okay. Or he got knocked back. Good call up, though. I appreciate that. This guy loves to stand on the node, doesn't he? Can I not hit him when he's up there? Or did he just purge it? He's a. What class is that? That's operative. So he could just purge my dots. I need to, what I really need to do is learn the symbols so I can start putting my dots on targets that don't have a purge. Although I guess which classes have purges have also probably changed since I last played. That's one hard thing with SWTOR if you're not like really up on the current meta game and the current builds and everything. PvP is a little bit more challenging. Like if the game stayed static and the classes stayed static, I would know a lot more about every class and build than I... Um, than I currently do. It's hard enough to learn all of them when they're changing every six months of a year. It becomes almost impossible. Unless you play, like, every day. Alright, so it seems like we're doing pretty good over here. I'm not good enough to leave, but good enough that I don't think we're in danger of losing it. Let's stun that guy so he does a little bit less healing actually get some damage on him, although his guard is doing a good job. I'm going to use a knockback to keep that guy from capping. His guard is guard swapping too, which is smart. Definitely knows what he's doing. Yeah, I see an operative, Juggernaut. Juggernaut's a good target for dots, or at least used to be. They are going hard for this node. Vanguard. Also another good dot target. And the reason for that is because if a class has a purge where they can get rid of your dots, then you might apply them, and if they're smart, they'll purge them before you can spread it to their teammates. But if they don't have a purge, like Vanguard's, I think, then um, there's nothing they can really do about it. All right, mid is probably going to be in trouble now. Your ship has sustained heavy damage. I'm a little worried. Yep, mid, there we go. We are in three cap range, so that's nice. We could still win even if they cap this one, which they might. Yep, crap. Yeah, see, as soon as they start thinning out. All right, you guys go have fun defending that. I'm going to play smart because I want to win. And... Even though it'll take more time, I'm going to just stack on this node over here. Just to make sure. Really tempted to stun this guy, but I'm going to save it for when I really need it. Or if I really need it. He's got his heal to full going. Let's reapply my dots. Reflect. 
Bless his heart for trying, but yeah. I think he's gonna need some friends to uh, get this node. All right, well, I'm gonna chill in here a bit. I mean, they gotta go for it. If they wanna have any chance of winning, they have to get this node. be surprised there was I think one um, one war zone I think in all my years of playing where I actually saw somebody come back from three cap range I think it'd be more than that but I guess usually if you get to that point it means your team is already not doing so well so it takes a big comeback but it has happened All right, well, this was a fun game. I enjoyed this one. It definitely uh, took all we had, or almost all we had, to win. They put up a good fight. But in the end, it wasn't enough. Also, there's no more MVPs. I just realized that. There's no more like little voting here, which I guess makes sense. It really wasn't. It didn't really mean anything, I don't think. But I don't know. It's kind of a nice little thing where you could, if somebody like really did objectives or did a good move, you can give them points for that. Maybe I should do like a call out to whoever did the best, but um, probably not watching. Hey, more than eight medals, nice. Yeah, I appreciate Soma's positive attitude and apparently they did a lot of stuff too. Um, all right, damage, so it looks like Tor, Tereske, and myself did a lot. They had some good DPS too. Um, we had three healers, they only had one, so that was a big part of it too, I think. Yeah, protection, all this fun stuff. All right, well, I think I'll probably take a break from Serenity, but I will um, switch classes and come back and do more PvP. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next Warzone.